Hello everyone. Myself Hashi Tantarwa from Standard 9th is going to give seminar on the topic probability. We use the word probable or probability in our everyday life without realizing that it has a mathematical meaning too. The uncertainty of the probability can be measured in many situations which are the outcomes of random experiment and proceed towards finding the probability. Before going into the chapter, let us discuss about history of probability. In 1654, a French gambler, Chandler de Mary, approached a well-known 17th century French philosopher and mathematician, Blaise Pascal, regarding some dice problems. Pascal discussed these dice problems with another French mathematician, Pierre de Fermat. Both of the mathematicians solved the problems independently. The work of Pascal and Fermat led to the foundation of probability theory. Now, let us discuss some basic terms related to the probability theory or probability. First one is trial. When we perform an experiment, it is called as trial. We can also say that trial is an action which results one of the several outcomes. Example, when a coin is tossed one time, two times or three times, etc. The coin toss is called as trial of an experiment. Or another example is when a dice is thrown n number of times, the thrown die is called as trial of an experiment. Second one is outcome. The result of the trial is called as outcome. Example, when a coin is tossed, either we get head or tail. The head or tail are called as outcomes. Or we can say that when a coin is tossed, we get two times of head or two times of tail. Or exactly one head or one tail. This is called as outcome. Or another example is when a die is thrown, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let us see event. Event of an experiment is the collection of outcomes of an experiment. Example, when a die is thrown to get odd numbers, the events consist of 3 numbers that are 1, 3 and 5. Similarly, when a die is thrown to get more than 4 numbers, the event consists of 2 numbers that are 4 and 5. Now let us see the formula of finding probability. PE is equal to number of trials in which the event happened by total number of the trials. Now let us discuss some problems related to probability. Here is the first question. There are 13 girls and 15 boys in a line. If one student is chosen at random then find the probability that he is a boy. So, the answer is total number of students. Is equal to 13 plus 14. 13 plus 14 is Sorry, it's 15. 13 plus 15 is 28. So, number of boys is equal to 15. Therefore, probability of a boy is equal to 15 by 28. The second problem is two coins are tossed simultaneously 200 times and the following outcomes are recorded. H, H, head, head are 56, H, T or T, H, head, tail or tail, head 110, tail, tail or T, T is equal to 34. Find at least one head. Total number of outcomes with at least one head is equal to 56 plus 110 is equal to 116. 56 plus 110. So, total number of
outcomes is equal to 200. Therefore, P is equal to 160 by 200 is equal to 0 0.83. Here is the third question. A die is recorded 300 times and following outcomes are recorded. Outcomes and frequency. Outcome 1, 42, 2, 60, 3, 55, 4, 53, 5, 60, 6, 30. These are the recorded rolled dice. Find first question more than 4. Second question less than 3. First question answer. Number of possible outcomes more than 4 is equal to 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. Here 5 and 6 are more than 4. 60 plus 30. Total number of times die rolled 300. So therefore frequency is equal to 900 by 300. 0, 0 cancel. 1 by, sorry, 3 by 10. The total number, number of dice rolled is 1 by 10. Here is the second sub question. Less than 3. Number of possible outcomes to get a number less than 3 are 42 plus 60 is equal to 102. Here, Less than 3 are 1 and 2. So 42 and 60. Therefore, probability is equal to 102 by 300 is equal to 51 by 150. So these were the problems we have solved. A quick recap what we have done in this video. We have studied about history of probability, formula and some basic terms related to probability. Those are trials, outcomes and the events. Hope so you all have understood the problems and my explanation. Thank you.